Unlike her pumpkins, one Middleton woman's heart is anything but hollow for the animals in her neighborhood. She takes leftover pumpkins from other people's fall decorations to give to the animals in her yard. Our Catherine Merck shows us how she hopes her efforts plant a seed for others to do the same. This retired Middleton woman says she's collected her neighbor's pumpkins for years, and she feels anyone can carve out some time to help out their wildlife. This time of year, I put them out whole like this. Beth Mackey isn't tricking the animals. By tomorrow, this will have been dug into usually by squirrels. After the Halloween holiday, she's giving them a treat that'll last a while. I have been collecting pumpkins to give to wildlife for probably five years. And every year, it I get more. In her garage, there's a method to my madness. You can find nearly a hundred pumpkins. I mean, I'm giving up my parking spot in our garage for the pumpkins. <laughs> she tells her neighbors and friends to bring over their leftover orange decorations to her five acre backyard to feed the critters. We're passionate about wildlife and helping them out. She says this time of year, anyone can pick this up. You can just roll them under a, an evergreen or under a bush or even just put them in the corner of your backyard and they'll quickly consume it and by spring it will be totally gone. In Beth's yard, she leaves her version of a candy bowl out year-round. It's not that hard to do, actually. And those who come to visit can take more than one piece. Everything we have here, pretty much, they can have if they want. <laughs> if you do want to follow in Beth's footsteps and get rid of your own pumpkins this way, just make sure you don't put any pumpkins with paint on them out for the animals, as that can be bad for them to snack on.